When I'm not hanging out in this awesome room with all this cool crap around me, I like to travel the world. In fact, my wife and I have been to over 50 countries. And recently, I told you my favorite ones in this video right here. Now, the fact that we're blessed with a lot of means, meaning we take a ton of trips every year, there are some destinations that we really, really want to go to, but we haven't been to yet. So today, I'm going to cover those on our 10 fantasy destinations and why we haven't gone yet. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Extreme Channel. We're mostly about extreme collectibles, but we also talk about extreme traveling. As I said in the intro, we're very blessed to go on a number of exotic trips every year, anywhere from three to ten great vacations. That's on top of normal travel for business. So we try and highlight those vacations on this channel. The business I don't because it's kind of boring. But almost every time we do a vacation, I will definitely do a segment on it. So if you like stuff like that and travel, make sure you've not only subscribed to the channel, but you've hit that bell notification. And again, if you're wondering about all the weird stuff behind me, check out some of my other videos. But for now, I wanted to do my top 10 destinations that I have wanted to go to for so long and I have never gone. Now, what's ironic about this list is while I don't have any of these currently booked, I have had them booked before, but stuff happens and sometimes you don't get a go. So this is also in order. We're going to start with number 10 and go down to number one. And there's certainly a few other destinations on the list that I really want to go to that we have. So for example, even though we've been to about 40 of the states in the United States, I have never been to Montana and I still want to go, especially after watching Yellowstone. Now, that's the only local destination to the States. The rest, of course, the rest, of course, are all throughout the world. Starting with number 10 is Tokyo. Now, we've actually been to Japan. We've been to Nagasaki, which was absolutely amazing. That's where they dropped some of the bombs. But we've never been to Tokyo. Been to Manhattan countless times. In my head, it's an Asian version of Manhattan and Times Square. So absolutely on the bucket list. We almost considered going there last year. We had tickets to it in 2020, but as you know, the world changed in 2020, so that fell through. Number nine is good day, mate. We want to go to Australia, mostly for the outback and the country within there. What always prohibits us from going to Australia is really the timing. Because of how long it takes to get there, that really cuts into your vacation. Because we're very busy people in life, we have to be very strategic on when we pick our vacations and how long we're gone. So that's the big obstacle with that. Maybe someday, but it's definitely somewhere I want to hit. Of course, if you remember my previous video, my favorite place to go is Tahiti, which is close to Australia. It's getting close to there. I'd probably rather go to Tahiti again because I guarantee it's going to be amazing. Number eight, while we've been all over Europe, we have never went to Paris. And the year I'm filming this is actually the Olympics in Paris. So we really wanted to go to that. We missed Tokyo. My wife is a huge Olympic person due to uh, what she did in college for sports. So we would love to go there. We actually had a big trip booked across Europe and Asia for this summer. But due to a war that broke out, and we're going to talk more about that later, we had to cancel the entire thing. And my daughter absolutely wants to see the Eiffel Tower, so I promised it to her. We always take her to the one in Vegas, but she knows that's just not good enough. Just like a, teen <laughs> just like a teenage daughter, right? Nothing is good enough. Number seven is Fiji. Now, we want to go to Fiji because it's Fiji. It's on the other side of the world. It's surrounded by beautiful oceans. We very much picture it like Tahiti, and we've never really looked into a Fijian trip before, but uh, it's definitely on the list for the exotic aspect of it, and you're gonna see something higher up on the list that's very similar for a lot of the same reasons. Six is one that we had booked this year, and this is where the war broke out, so we had to cancel our entire trip. We wanna to go to Israel, specifically Jerusalem, and kind of in that area, I'm gonna throw Egypt on the list as well, So, which they are different continents, but pretty close to each other. We wanna do that whole heritage, biblical stuff. Egypt, Israel, see the pyramids, see the birthplace of Jesus and all that. So looking forward to it. We had it booked. We were going to both. And unfortunately, like I said, the war broke out. So hashtag real world problems here. I can't go to my dream, one of my dream destinations, but people are dying. So that's even worse. Number five is really going to throw you through a loop. It is Antarctica. Yes, I want to go to Antarctica because I want to hit every continent. 
So we haven't hit South America, and there's nothing on the list, although I think Brazil and Argentina would be cool. And we'll probably tie those in to a trip to Antarctica. There's actually some Antarctican cruises that leave from like Brazil or Argentina. So maybe we'll all do that in one trip. That would be amazing. So I could definitely see that on the bucket list, especially knowing that it's my number five choice. My number four, we almost booked uh, when our Israel trip was canceled this year. It's actually to Maldives. So Maldives, very much like Tahiti, have over the water bungalows. It's across the world on the other side. Now, the reason we didn't go this year is because we really want to do some vacations while our kids are still teenagers before they get up and get out of the house. However, to do the vacation properly, we were looking at $40,000 for one trip. So I'd rather do four trips for $20,000 or $30,000 than one trip for $40,000. So we're going to wait till the kids grow up and go off on their own. And then me and Mrs. X, my wife, will go by ourselves. Number three, I want to do an African safari. The year we went to Tahiti, we were actually going to book an African safari. We actually picked out what trip we wanted, and then we found out that the temperature was only going to be in the 50s. So that's what guided us to Tahiti instead. It was actually our 15th wedding anniversary, and uh, I still want to do African safari. To me, this and Australia are very similar, other than the fact of some of the wildlife is going to be very differentiating, obviously. So I'd do the African safari way before Australia. Australia is probably going to be one of the last ones on the list we hit, just due to logistics and things we talked about. But I think it would be absolutely amazing to see some of those animals in real life, stay in tents, stay in cabins, and go to some of those amazing countries in Africa. You know it's bad when you forget you have been to Africa. Now, it was just Tunisia on the northern border, and it wasn't it was the only day there. It wasn't the best, but it's not an African safari. Number two has a caveat with it. So number two is Iceland on two conditions. Number one, I have to see the northern lights while I'm there. Unfortunately, the time I have to travel usually, the northern lights aren't as popular. And of course, it's always a guessing game. So I know I could never predict this, but I would definitely have to see the Northern Lights. And two, it would have to be in one of those like overnight igloos that have a clear ceiling. That would be amazing to me. That is my goal. Iceland with those two caveats. We've often had opportunities just to go to Iceland in off months or even attach a cruise to it. But again, it's my number one if only those two other caveats happen. If not, it would be much lower on the list. It's probably not even the top 10 if I don't get to see the Northern Lights and stay in one of those amazing igloos. So number one's kind of a weird one, but it is definitely going to happen in my lifetime. If you're uh, new to the channel, we love cruising. We've been on over 25 cruises. In fact, the day I'm filming this, uh, I have one in two weeks, three weeks. And we've been to, and we've cruised, and we've cruised all over the world, but we haven't done it at the same time. We want to do one of those around the world cruises. That's what we want to do. That goes on for two or three months, probably costs $20,000, and stops at every single major port. That is my number one thing I want to do when it comes to traveling. And I promise you, unless I die soon, I'm going to do that in my life once I retire. Once I retire, that's the first thing my wife and I are doing cruise around the world number one destination. And you know what? A lot of these on the list, I may be able to knock out with just that cruise. That's why it's so important. So now is the favorite time of my video. I love to read your comments. Where is your dream destination? Is it somewhere you've already been to or is it somewhere you haven't? Throw that down in the comments below because whether or not you like high-end collectibles like this, you could win them. You could win one and they're worth a lot of money. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another travel video. If you like stuff like this, again, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys. At the very most, hit that like. It uh, really helps the visibility of the channel. It makes me feel better about myself. And I can get an extra 10 cents to put towards that next vacation. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.